The Northern Elders Forum has said that the northern part of the country is not reserving the presidency for other re regions in the February 25th presidential election. According to them, every citizen, regardless of region, should be given the opportunity to contest any elected position. Also warning that the North would counter any attempt to subvert the wishes of the people. Now, in a statement, they also said the North has paid its dues and there is no other section of the country that has contributed as much as the northern part of the country, adding that the North still has an outstanding four years to rule in order to equate the southern part of Nigeria. Joining us to discuss this is Dr. Hakim Baba Ahmed. He is the spokesperson of Northern Elders Forum. Um, Happy New Year and thanks for joining us, Doctor. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Great. Uh, let me start by asking where the North is pitching its tent uh, for the 2025th uh, um, February elections. You know, um, many regions have been speaking up on who they want. Certain persons who are notable in certain regions have also said, well, this is who we're pitching our tent with. Uh, has the North come to an understanding yet as to who they will be picking? Yeah, we've always had an understanding. Um, we don't follow crowds. Uh, the North has its pitching its tent with the interests of the people of the North. Um, timing is not uh, in itself a, a priority. Uh, we can decide where we go at any time. And uh, we don't want to succumb to pressure from people saying, no, 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 there are only three days left. You have to say something. We will say something when we feel it is the right time and the appropriate time. Hmm. Um, what is your assessment so far of all the front line, let's say the first four uh, front line runners for the presidential can, uh, you know, elections? We've seen um, that there are more than five, there are more than six, um, but then there are few people that we would term as front line runners. What's your assessment of those people so far? I mean, you've, we have um, a few of them who are from the northern extraction of this country. Well, we think they've done well. Um, they've just certainly shown um, a strong desire for our trust. I'm talking about Nigerian electorate, not just the Northern electorate. Um, they've, 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 they've published excellent manifestos. They appear to understand um, Nigeria's problems. And uh, they've, done, they've done the rounds. They've, we've seen them um, on one-on-one -on -one when, when we held a meeting for some of them in Kaduna, um, and we've been following their campaign. So on the whole, uh, about three, four of them have shown a capacity and a genuineness for, for, for us to, to trust them. Um, as I said before, um, there is no pressure to say who, who it is that we would advise Northerners to, um, uh, to support. And I would like to remind you that uh, not specifically pointing at a that a candidate is one of the options that we have. We don't have to say to people of the North, um, we suggest you go and vote for A or B. But where we feel we have, we, we, we should, um, and it is the better choice, we will do that. Uh, but on the whole, I, I think the candidates have shown um, tremendous desire to be trusted. Whether they, they are the best or not, uh, whether the... Um, these are the candidates who should be asking us to trust them. It's now an academic issue. We have 18 candidates, uh, whether we like it or not. Out of these 18, there are front runners, and they are front runners because they appear to have enjoyed the biggest exposure, the biggest uh, support. Obviously, they had more money than others, but they, they made themselves more visible. Um, and so, but we are not going to allow these these factors to cloud us. Um, in terms of taking a decision or judgment uh, over the contestants. As much as you say that you will not necessarily be telling people who to vote for, but there will be a point where you decide that you will throw your weight behind this person or that person. I, I hear that. But you can also bear, with it, bear witness with me that 
there seems to have been a change of sorts in the mindsets of people, whether it be in the north, south, east or west. Uh, there seems to be that level of independence now. People are, are more independent minded when it comes to this election. And so there's no more listening to the voice of wisdom or the wise ones or our elders. Uh, see, people seem to want to be going in their own different direction. Do you think the NEF still still has wields that power, that attention that, they, that you know, they can get the ears of the average person in the north? Well, we've never been an election-only uh, group. Um, our job has, n has never been just to simply uh, say to Northerners, uh, this is what you should vote for. We are not a political party club. <laughs> we are not uh, um, people who say to people, to Northerners, uh, this is where to go. I would like to remind you that uh, we have done a lot of other things. Um, again, uh, they are related to politics. We fought very hard to make sure that uh, Northerners have an equal chance uh, within their parties to be fielded. As we speak, there are five parties, uh, five parties that are fielded Northerners. This time last year, um,